I've been in the business for about 24 years. I worked in operations, yeah, which was maybe the largest part of the business. And now recently I've moved into the facilities area. It's interesting, when I walked through the Admiral's door all those years ago, one of the things that surprised me were the amount of ladies in the most senior positions. This wasn't wasn't long after um, a, a time where all of the bosses and the senior people were men with pinstripe suits or handkerchiefs in their, in their collars. You know, this is very, very different. I didn't realize at the time, you know, what I was what I was seeing or, or why the diversity and inclusion language wasn't really around. But what was around was Henry's vision of having people who think differently joined up together so that they can deliver something even more um, meaningful and whole and stronger and and robust and and successful. It's over the years that, that I've learned what you know what the power of um, diverse thinking um, brings to brings to the show. You know you, you can separate the two out. I think diversity is a bit of a numbers game. Um, if you want to display, you know what what your breakdown of staff is from say a BAME uh, perspective, then you'll say you know we've got a thousand staff and twenty of those are BAME, and there's my diversity number. Inclusivity is very very different for me, possibly even more important because that is all about inclusion a seat at the table bring in people that perhaps in numbers might um, might be low but in influence and in decision making they can play just as active and just as strong um, a role and do it confidently I've, I've recently discovered this this um, phrase called psychological safety I've never heard it before and when I went, went, went away and thought about it I thought wow it's something, it's a journey that I've had in Admiral. I now feel safe, psychologically safe, to say what I want, how I feel to the most senior people at the most, and I, and I think I'm being heard. Um, and, you know, I, I, I can do that in, in comfort, knowing that it'll make a difference, knowing that it'll be taken in the right way, um, and knowing even if people disagree, um, I, I don't have to worry about it. That's really, really important. From a BAME perspective, um, I just wanted to be part uh, of the group's effort of reaching out and reassuring certainly BAME colleagues and those from all different um, backgrounds and minority groups um, across the whole DNI spectrum that this is you know, this is a all-inclusive organisation. You can be who you who you are or what you want to be. Um, there's no barriers to success. Um, and certainly from my point of view, from the BAME work stream, that ethnicity will never, ever be a barrier to entry or a barrier to progression within Admiral. So that's our sort of key objective that, um, that our colleagues feel that way. Uh, the best advice that I've been given is uh, listen more. <laughs> I think before you speak because I can't help it. I'm one of those guys who thinks out aloud. And unless you know that, um, that that's that's how I will work, then it can uh, it can call all sort cause all sorts of uh, all sorts of problems. And my advice to if you like new starters or people coming in and and wanting to get on is to make it happen. Really make it happen. If you've got an idea, if you've got an objective, a target. Uh, go and make it happen. Go and speak to someone. Go and find a way of doing it. Don't wait for it to come to you. Don't wait for something to be offered to you. Just go and do it. And you'll be surprised at the take of that, of what you can achieve.